everybody, this is Chad with round two, back with another product spotlight video for August 2022. And I know we say it every month, this month is huge, a ton of product for August. So we're gonna show you guys for model kits. We have 14 new model kits to show you. There's a ton of new automotive kits. There's a new kit for our Star Wars license. There's a new uh, Star Trek kit that we're gonna be showing you guys. And our new Garwood garbage truck for AMT is here. So we're gonna be talking about that. Then we're going to jump in. We've also got 164 scale for you guys for Johnny Lightning. We've got Racing Champions Mint release we're going to show you. And a 164 scale trailer from Auto World uh, for this month. In the larger scale die cast, there's four 118s for Auto World. And we have uh, two 124 scale. And then we also have a slot car set, new Thunderjet set for Auto World. So we're going to start at the front of this big pile. We're going to start with the 164th. All right, so jumping into 164th, we're going to start with our latest release for Racing Champions Mint. This is a six-car set, just one variation of each for this release, and a lot of really cool drag cars uh, in this release. First being the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454. This is the AMT Red Alert Chevelle, uh, the Bob Hamilton car. So what's cool about this, this is based on a real race car, a real Chevelle in the 70s that was sponsored by AMT Models. It was also a very popular AMT model kit. Uh, back in the day and it looks super good uh, on that racing champions casting so it should be a really fun one for our model guys and our die cast guys also in the release the 1985 buick regal t-type this is a great looking uh great looking version for this in two-tone it's got black and silver and red pinstriping uh, along the side of it there looks awesome there next up the 1969 chevy camaro z28 uh, what's really cool about this casting, it's actually done up like our brand manager's uh, 69 Chevy Camaro drag car. Uh, so this has smaller tires in the front. It's got big, thick, uh, big, thick rubber in the back of it. A lot of great detail on this one. And uh, that white interior really looks awesome on that car too. Next up, the Big Willie Robinson 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. The Street Racers Inc. car. Great looking uh, orange color on this. And of course, all those Street Racers Inc. graphics, Big Willie on the side of it. Super cool looking car. Fifth in the release, the 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Here it is in white, has the uh, black hood on it, black spoiler, and the red striping along the side, which looks great on that car. And white letter tires as well. Really good detail on all these Racing Champions cars. And then lastly, we've done a lot with Baldwin Motion. This is the Mr. Motion 1968 Chevy Chevelle SS 427. Great looking car for this one. Gloss black with a lot of those uh, Baldwin Motion, Mr. Motion decals along the side of it. Uh, it's got a flat black for the vinyl top and tons of nice cool painted details on that one as well. Moving on from Racing Champions for Johnny Lightning, we got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. So we're going to start off with the return of Johnny Lightning monster trucks. So this has been something uh, that was done back in the day for the, uh, the monster truck bodies that we had tooled uh, and chassis that we had tooled uh, way back when. These have been really fun to do. So there's three cars in this release. The first being the Frostbite monster truck. They all have names and themes. This one is... An ice cream truck has that crazy Yeti on the side of it. All the uh, little ice cream treats along it and uh, a lot of cool detail on this. It's got flexible suspension. Uh, it's the, the body is detachable, the metal body is detachable. Rubber tires on there and even detailed down to the little driver inside. If you guys can see them sitting in there. And next up for the monster trucks, we have this truck, the Tiki Terror. So this is a tiki themed truck again lots of cool graphics on the side of this a lot of fun to come up with these themes and do this it has the bamboo on the side the tiki head on the uh on the hood there and all the crazy tiki graphics all along the truck and then our last one is the creep sweeper the zombie escape uh style monster truck so this one's really fun, has the green tires, the oozy green tires with all the green goo thrown on the side of it. Got the zombies on the uh, zombie on the side, the safety lights on top of it. So this is just a rolling over hordes of zombie car. Um, really, really fun and 
we've been having a ton of fun working with these uh those monster truck releases and making really fun themes for that so jumping into some of the regular johnny lightning stuff we also have a new release for classic gold for you guys so you know how these go six cars in classic gold two color variations for each starting off here we've got our new casting the 1984 nissan 300zx we know you guys we're really excited to bring this one out, the Z31 300ZX. First version here is in gold. Again, great detailing on this one. Of course, the first release of this car has gold interior as well, um, or a tannish gold interior as well. Newly tooled wheels, all, all uh, newly tooled on this. Opening hood with that detailed engine inside of it. And we did this second color variation in this dark green. A great color, really, really rare color for these cars. Uh, tan interior with that one, which just looks awesome. And just super good details on this new release. Next up, we have the next release for our fairly new 82 Mazda RX-7 castings in this Classic Gold series. First one being in gloss black. Again, a lot of great details on this. Has the uh, forward opening hood with the rotary engine inside of that. Even they got the defroster details on the back of it great looking release for this and then second version is version b here it is in bright red and tan interior on that one which looks really awesome with that red and next up for classic gold third in the release actually switch it over for you the 2012 chevy corvette z06 first version here is in burgundy red black wheels on it Super mean looking, really, really cool looking uh, car for that. And I love that version A, that it just looks awesome on that. And the next one here is in this dark gray, or dark graphite gray uh, color, black wheels on that one too, adding to that sinister look. Super fun release here. Next up, the 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. So this was uh, an Auto World Deluxe casting. This has been brought into the Johnny Lightning line with metal uh, chassis, rubber tires. Great looking, uh, love the Eliminator cars. First starting off in that blue, of course the bright blue uh, poly with blue interior. Classic car for that Mercury, or classic look for that, uh, for that Mercury. Second release is in yellow here with black interior. And next up, Fifth in this release, the 1986 Ford Mustang SVO. First version here is in light blue. This is another casting that was uh, initially an Auto World Deluxe and has been brought to Johnny Lightning with rubber tires added, metal chassis added. Great detail on this one as well. Gray interior to go with it. And you can see all the painted detail for all the trim along the side. Second version here is in silver poly. And black interior for that version. And then lastly for Classic Gold, sixth in the, in the release, this is the 1962 Plymouth Savoy Max Wedge. So what's really cool about this, we actually did tool a new engine, that Max Wedge engine, for this car. So when you pick it up, open it up, pop the hood, it's got that new engine tooling in it. So we could do this uh, Plymouth Savoy Max Wedge version. First one being in this smooth looking, great black color with the red interior and those red line tires which look really great uh, against that interior. Second version in white, black wheels and white line uh, tires on that one. So next up for Johnny Lightning, uh, we talked last month about our upcoming Street Freaks release and we only had the version A to show you guys. So this is the version B that we're gonna show. So the same cars, but these are the other uh, color variations of these cars from last month. So. First off, the new casting, uh, the 1962 Chevy Impala Coupe. So the first time this has ever been done as a Zinger, as a Johnny Lightning. This version here in blue. This is such a cool looking car. That red interior looks awesome with that blue. Has that low rider kind of style uh, paneling along the side of it. Or striping along the side. Red line tires. That big chrome Zinger engine. Just an awesome looking uh, addition for you Zinger guys. Another great looking Zinger. The, 19, the 1960 um, Chevy Chevelle, or 1966 Chevy Chevelle, I'm sorry, uh, with red line tires on that, pearl white on the outside, green striping, big chrome engine, got the hottest Chevelle name on the side of it, another really fun zinger for this release, 
Uh, project in progress, here's the uh, B variation for that 1968 Chevy El Camino. All rusted, all beat up, got the primer hood and doors and fenders uh, on the side of it, that yellow paint, the rust running down the side, steely wheels. Great looking project car for that. Uh, next up, the black with flames. We showed you the one from uh, with the red and orange uh, flames on it last month. This is the version B here for that Pontiac Firebird TA. Got the blue bird on the top and the blue flames look like the bird wings on the side. Next up is spoilers. This is fifth in the release, the 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger. Second color for this is that orange color. Of course, with the spoiler cars, has a spoiler number on the side and the engine sticking out of the top there. And lastly, Demolition Derby Chevy Tow Truck, 1965 Chevy Tow Truck here. This has been a super fun one, this variation being in purple with these Wrecker Breaker uh, on the side of it. And it has all these cool details on the front too. And just super fun release for that. One more for Johnny Lightning to show you guys. This is a hobby exclusive car. Uh, really fun one. This is the 1959 Cadillac Ambulance Surfshark. So you guys who watch the videos will remember this AMT kit, uh, the Surfshark kit that came out with the surfboards on top of it. It's that lifeguard uh, rat rod ambulance. So we had a lot of fun uh, working with that design and we decided to bring it into 164 scale. So this is a hobby exclusive straight pack car coming for Johnny Lightning. I think it looks awesome with that shark mouth on the side of it and all those cool weathered beach, uh, beach cruiser details on there. And then the, lastly for 164th for Auto World this month, we've got the new trailer, the uh, enclosed trailer. This is our Ratfink one utilizing our Ratfink license. We haul it all. It's got the Ed Roth on the side of it. Crazy Ratfink graphics all along here. And even, uh, even has really cool detail on the back too. You call, we haul. So that is everything that we've got for 164th. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys all the larger scale die cast. All right, so jumping into the 118 scale, we got four 118s to start off and show you guys with. First being, next in our release of Yanko cars, the 1969 Yanko Chevy Chevelle. Uh, this is a really cool uh, release for this one. It's in Fathom Green. Of course, the Yanko striping along the side of it, the Yanko striping on the hood. This has uh, opening doors. It has an opening hood with a 427 engine. It's got opening uh, trunk on this model as well. Steerable front wheels, detailed chassis. A lot of cool features there. You can see the detailed chassis there on the bottom. And there's a look uh, on the back at some of the information here about the Yanko Chevy Chevelle. These green Yanko cars are super cool. We've done a couple of these uh, in the past, so we're really excited to bring that one out. And you Yanko collectors, it'll be a great uh, addition there. Next up, the 1968 Chevy C10 Stepside, another great looking Chevy. Uh, these are super popular. It's been a while since we put, uh, put this casting out. Um, this one, great looking color. It's a red color on this uh, truck here. Has opening doors and a hood on this one. The tonneau cover on the back is also removable. Um, so you can take that off and display the uh, the detailed bed in the back there. Uh, great looking, uh, there's chassis details on this one as well. And there's a look at some of the information on the back about that C10 step side here. Next up, we got a really fun one for you guys uh, in our Monopoly series. This is the 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster. We've been doing a lot of these Monopoly cars. We always try to pick a theme from the game, do something fun with it. Uh, usually include a bonus figure of Mr. Monopoly. This one is super fun. Uh, we took a 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster. 1935 was actually the year that Monopoly was introduced. We saw this great extravagant uh, Auburn car and looking at it, that sloped front end, we immediately thought of steam engines and so had a lot of fun doing this all black with the steampunk gold detailing on it. Of course has all the uh, Monopoly Railroad graphics on the top and along the side and all of those gold details are uh, just look great on this, on this release. So this has been a super fun Monopoly one. There's a look at the illustration and some of the information on the back here. And should be another fun one to add to the Monopoly releases. 
Lastly, for the 118 scale, the 1950 Oldsmobile Rocket 88. Here it is in alder green. Great looking color for this uh, Rocket 88 car. Has green interior to match, a black hard top on it, big white wall tires, color matched wheels with the chrome dish in the center. This uh, also has opening doors, uh, opening hood, and an opening trunk on this model with that detailed engine, the steerable front wheels, and a uh, detailed chassis underneath as well. And besides the 118, we do have one, uh, two uh, 124 scale cars for you guys. So first one being this Auto World 1947 Studebaker pickup. So with this one, we used our, uh, our license with Coors. Um, this is the Coors Extra Dry Pilsner uh, delivery truck here. Again, super cool. Uh, we used vintage Coors look for this uh, 47 Studebaker. As most of you guys know, we are from South Bend here. So we love our Studebakers. Um, it's got a lot of great history, and the course history goes perfectly with this one, so it's a super fun release for this. And there's a look uh, on the back at a little more information about this course release and the Studebaker truck. And lastly, we've got one more for you guys. This is a fun, crazy one. This is under the Johnny Lightning brand. This is our Rat Fink International 4400 Monster Truck. Uh, Rat Fink Speed Shop. So we had a ton of fun with this one taking this big crazy monster truck and putting Rat Fink there on the top that that highly detailed uh, Rat Fink sculpture that's busting out out of the back of this uh, this truck. And so you've all we call you call we haul all the crazy parts uh, similar to the the 164 scale uh, trailer that we just showed you guys. But this is a super fun one. Really fits that Rat Fink style. And as a look at uh, the back of that packaging too, not really crazy fun Ed Roth style on here. So that is everything that we've got for the die cast. Next, we're gonna show you guys all the model kits. All right, so jumping right into model kits, we're gonna start with what the people want. We're gonna show you guys what you've been waiting for. The Ford C900 refuse truck with load packer, body and gate by Garwood. This kit, has been a long time in the making. Uh, it says even right here, AMT's Lost Project reimagined what we did with this kit. Initially announced in the 1970s uh, that this kit was coming out. Never came out from the original AMT, so we went through, did a year's worth of work, figuring out how to build this kit up, how to make that, that uh, load packer back for it. 100 newly tooled parts, huge, heavy kit and a lot of really fun stuff with this release. So you can see here on the side, some of the features with this kit. It's got the tilt cab in the front for that C900. It's got the load packer unit in the back, has a ton of features. There's a piston that moves so you can compact, uh, set it up compacting the trash. There's a ton of features. It's got this huge decal sheet uh, on it here. We did newly tool, um, some a d-shaped fuel tank for this we did bud wheels for it there's a lot of really cool information about uh here old purple which is an uh, actual garwood garbage truck that's still being used to this day a lot of cool information there um this is a huge huge kit there's a look at the parts tree on the back where you guys can see all of those new parts that are in this we are so excited to bring this out see how you guys build it up weather it have fun with it we also, uh, with a lot of these kits, we send them off here on YouTube to HPI Guy or Happy Guys Workshop uh, here, and he has done uh, a video on this kit, taking everything out of the box, showing you guys all the parts. Be sure to check out his video and, uh, and see some of that, and we are just so, so excited to bring this one out to you guys. So jumping from there into the car kits, what we also have coming up for AMT this is our 1934 Ford pickup kit. This is a three-in-one kit. Uh, we put it out before. We're using our Sunoco license and doing some pretty cool stuff uh, with this one here. You can build this stock. You can build it custom. You can build it as a service truck. And you can get a look here at these new decals that are included in the Sunoco kit. So there's some flames on it if you want to build it up custom. But then all these really cool Sunoco decals that you can use for this or any other build that you guys want to do up in that style. Here's a look at how you can build this in those one of three ways. There's an optional chrome engine with this kit and a lot of fun features uh, for this one. And there's a look also at that parts tree on the back for this one. Moving right along, 
Here's a kid that hasn't been out in a while, the 1963 Studebaker Avanti, uh, 125th scale kit for this. As I mentioned, we're big Studebaker fans here in South Bend. This is another three-in-one kit that you can build as stock, custom, or drag. There's a bunch of extra parts in it. Uh, it's got pad printed white wall tires. We've expanded the decal sheet, kept that vintage style packaging here, that really clean, crisp look for the packaging. You can get a look on the side also. There's one of three ways that you can build it. Halibrand mag wheels with knockoffs that it comes with. It has a lot of optional engine parts, interior parts. Uh, there's opening doors and hood on this kit, which is really cool. It's got a roll cage, got a drag chute. Um, and there's a look here at a uh, stock version of it. And then a peek at that parts tree on the back. So next up, another kit for you guys. This is our 57 Chevy Pepper Shaker. You might remember we put out a, a version of the Pepper Shaker a couple of years ago. This has a, uh, a new style of box art, or rather a vintage style of box art of release that AMT had done in the past. That we, It is just super cool looking. I love the box art on the front of these. This is a three-in-one kit. Uh, stock customer drag for this one as well. Pad printed tires and slicks with it. It's got an expanded decal sheet. Uh, there's also tinted window options, which is great for these uh, 50s era drag cars. They look awesome with those tinted windows. There's a look at some of these features. You got the stock engine, you got a competition 409 engine, Goodyear drag slicks, and there's even like a 57 Buick grill and some other really cool custom features in the kit. A look at that decal sheet where you can see the, uh, the pepper shaker, the ground pounder, all those fun decals uh, to build this up, whichever way you'd like. And a look at that parts tree on the back of that kit as well. Moving right along. The 1968 Chevy El Camino SS. This is another kit that we'd put out uh, a couple years ago. It includes a soapbox derby car, which is really cool. This is one of our Coca-Cola kits, so we added some pretty cool things into this. Coca-Cola decals. There's also a bonus display base that comes with this kit that's really neat looking. You can get a look actually um, here's some of the uh, different ways that you can lay out the decals here on this kit this is one of two ways stock or custom that this kit can be built there's a look at those decals you can see what that display base looks like that little soapbox derby car you got that 396 Chevy engine with it and then two in one uh, pad printed tires so they're red line on one side Goodyear lettering on the other <clears throat> and you got these couple different wheel options as we spoke of and a look at that parts tree as well. Next up for you guys, we're gonna jump in and show you the Ram Chargers Dragster, an advanced design transport truck. This is an MPC kit. So this is, what's really cool about this, this is two complete kits. Uh, we have not put these kits back out together like this. Um, so it's, it's really fun, really crazy kit here. Uh, it has an expanded decal sheet, uh, bigger than the original release, pad printed drag slicks vintage style packaging on it. And then you can also get a look on the side here at how, how it all fits together, how you can put that Ram Chargers Dragster into this crazy transport truck. Look at all the different options, the opening and closing tailgate. And also on the side, some of these other, <clears throat> the truck cab interior and some of these other fun parts that come with this kit. And then <clears throat> also a look there at that parts tree. Moving right through the automotive stuff, here's another one that has not been out in a long time, I think since the 70s. Um, this is the Groove Boss Super Modified Kit. So we brought this one back. We've expanded the decal sheet on this from its original release, kept the vintage style packaging for it. It's super cool looking, uh, uh, super modified for this kit. And you can see some of the other features here. Pad printed Goodyear slicks, 350 cubic inch Chevy V8. It's got the, uh, fuels or the uh the injector stacks on the top there and there's a lot of other there's a look at the at the kit on the side here where you can see it's got like cae exhaust headers weld wheels um and there's a look also oh, this way at that parts tree next up another one for you guys the 1949 ford coupe the 49er kit so this one has retooled custom wheels in it. Uh, this kit was brought out as the Gas Man a while back. Uh, there's pad printed tire options in this kit, expanded the decals. Again, the vintage style packaging, really clean look, similar to how we did that Studebaker Avanti over there. 
Another three in one kit for this one, stock custom or drag that this can be built in. It's got two V8 engine options. It's got a couple different wheel styles with it. Like I said, stock tires, or you can do wide whites, uh, pinstripes. And there's a look at the other release for the gas man. So, and also you can still build it up, still has all those gas man decals with it. And a look at all that parts tree and those little uh, optional pieces that come with this kit. Next up, four car kits. The Hot Wheels Opal GT. Been a while since we brought the Opal GT out. These Hot Wheels kits have been really fun to do. Uh, this one you can build in a couple different ways. You can go real crazy with the, with the race style. It has these uh, stacks on the top of it, which are actually real metal uh, stacks. Comes with decals or stickers. So if you want to uh, advanced model builders can use the decals or younger model builders can use the stickers. There's three different wheel options with this kit. You can get a look here at some of the features, those metal injector stacks I talked about, the uh, pad printed, you got the stock tires, you can do the drag slick tires. Uh, you've got the three exhaust systems. You've got a couple different engine setups, a four cylinder and two six cylinder uh, engine setups, detailed interior, detailed drag suspension. Here's a look at more of a stock, uh, stock build and all those Hot Wheels decals that come with the kit. And on the back there, there's that parts tree. Next up, what we've got for you guys, another car kit here, the 56 Ford. This is another three-in-one kit, stock, custom, or drag that you can build this in. Uh, has pad printed tires and slicks with it. Again, a, an expanded decal sheet on this kit. Uh, great looking box art on this one, vintage style box art on here. Um, you can get a look at some of the special features. There's a stock version shown on the front. Of course, the race version, uh, stock version on the side. Of course, the race version shown on the front. You've got the uh, pad printed MH tires on here. And then a look too at a list of some of those other features, uh, custom molding trim. Uh, that is a fully custom version, so there's actually a crazy custom interior that you can do as an option for this car. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back of that one. Also for automotive, another one that hasn't been out in a, in a while, the George Barris Raiders Coach. So we're bringing this one back out. This is an MPC kit. Uh, expanded decal sheet on this, a bunch of chrome parts on it. Again, with the uh, with the vintage style packaging on here, and there's this is such a crazy, awesome, radical build. Um, you can see all these different parts. You got footprint, gas pedals, which could be fun for tons of different kits. Again, uh, with the stacks on this kit, you've got speakers, an organ, all these like 18th century style lights. There's a ton of crazy stuff, like a lot of George Barris's builds. There's another a look at it from a different angle. You can see how the organ's set up in the back there. And there's a look at the uh, parts tree on the back of that one. Lastly, for automotive kits, uh, we have the new variation for our Great Dane 40 foot dry goods trailer. This is the Mountain Way. Uh, this builds out to about 20 inches long on this kit. There's uh, some pretty cool features on this. We've expanded the, de the decal sheet on this kit as well. It's got functional rear doors on it. It's got sliding uh, tandem suspension on the kit. You can look here at how those doors, rear doors swing open. Some of our other AMT kits also uh, put on the side. And there's a look at that sliding tandem suspension and that big uh, decal sheet that comes with this kit. And then a look at the back of the big old parts tree for this one. Next up, that's everything for automotive. We got some uh, pop culture sci-fi kits for you guys. The AMT Star Trek, this is the classic USS Enterprise uh, kit. So this is a reboxing of the, Enterpri the classic Enterprise kit. This was the box style, the vintage box style, the second version that AMT put out. A lot of you guys have said that this is the box that you remember. Or this is the kit that you guys remembered building. So we brought it back uh, instead in this in this uh, vintage box. It's such a cool looking box style. You can see on the side. 
you've got your uh, Spock and Captain Kirk on the side here. And then a look on the back. You can see the build out this 18 inches long on here. It's got uh, water slide decals that come with it. It's a glue together, it's a smooth saucer uh, on here, dome base, the metal support rod for putting it up. And there's a look at that decal sheet on here. 1 650th scale for this kit. And lastly for models, one more for you guys, our Star Wars kits. This is the Return of the Jedi ATST kit. This is a snap together kit, MPC. Uh, a vintage kit that we're bringing back out but a lot of cool stuff with this this is all new box art for this kit which was actually hand painted by jamie hood here who's been doing that for some of these uh a lot of these star wars kits that we've been doing we actually hand paint it so it has that vintage style box art and then rebuild it out so it's just super super cool looking uh you can get a look at this kit again snap together so a pretty easy build it comes with two uh backdrops so you can do endor or you can do hoth uh, depending on which way which way you want to display the kit. Another look at uh, some of the features on the side here. And then on the back, you can see builds out to six inches tall. Again, 22 parts snapped together. It's actually already uh, molded in color. So you can really just weather it um, if you want to add a little detail, but it should be a really easy build for Star Wars fans or beginning modelers. So that is everything we've got for the huge pile of model kits for you guys. We're going to finish out and show you slot cars. All right, so lastly for you guys, we've got a Thunderjet Auto World slot car release to show you. So there's three cars in this release. Just one color variation for each uh, for the silver screens. But this is a mock, uh, the Mach 5 Speed Racer Mach 5. What we've done in this release is make everything worn and torn like how it is in the movie so you've got these race graphics on the side of it where it's all been kind of rubbing up against the other racers it looks like it's in the he's in the middle of a race it's it's a it's an endurance they've been slamming together and then of course to go with the mach 5 we do have the race worn racer x as well so the classic uh yellow look for the racer x with that tan interior but adding those rub marks onto the side of it for some cool realism and some fun uh to add to your speed racer slot cars so in a similar vein we also are doing the burnt christine thunderjet car so you guys will remember in the uh, auto world 164th we did burnt christine after the scene where she completely starts on fire and then she comes out smoking uh chasing after everybody so we're doing this now bringing it into the slot cars to match our other christine releases a lot of fun with this one we have a ton of fun with the uh with the silver screen cars and with the slot car stuff in general we have a lot more slot car stuff in the works and coming uh, for you guys. If you didn't check out last month's video, we had three race sets in that one. So a ton of stuff coming out. A ton more stuff in model kits. A ton more stuff in 164th. We're putting out more than we've ever put out. Thank you guys for supporting us and watching these videos. Again, I know I say it every month. Uh, you can go to round2corp.com, check out our news section, check out our new tooling section, see all the stuff that we're working on. Follow us on Instagram, Johnny Lightning, Auto World, Round 2 Models, and same thing with our Facebook pages. We'll see you guys next month. Thank you.